Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul. So we're doing the anomaly mission again today. And we're going to see what the mission has in store for us. Um, started out a little bit early today. As you can see, I'm not quite into the game yet. I'm going to let that uh, stagger its way in as my uh, video card tries to keep up. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today. And I want to thank all the people who have subscribed. Uh, we are over 500 subscri subscribers now. This is fantastic. I am so excited about it. I've had a great day. Pretty decent week at work. Great day today. So I'm looking forward to doing this anomaly mission and getting things going. So here we are starting out on my freighter as usual. I uh, actually got on just the other night for a very short period of time because I wanted to get some things cleaned up. Get some ships cleaned up. Get some uh, things ready to go downstairs in the old uh, bin down here. As you can see, I've got one of the uh, couple of these Sentinel ships going on here today. A uh, few ships, actually, as you can see. Um, really looking forward to getting myself one of the... A different swept wing model. I've got one floating around here somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. You're going to see me wandering around a little bit and seeing if I can find it. Uh, it is definitely not you. That's one I'm going to be trading in. Uh, so let's go ahead and call it in. I want to get one of those swept wing models one of these days. Let's see. Where are you here? That would be... I think it's you, as a matter of fact. And there she is, yes. So we're going to take this one. It's not updated. I want to see if I can't find another one, but I do love these swept wing models. They're just so tight looking. Anyway. All right. I don't even know what system I'm in, I'm in to be honest with you. Usual nonsense going on around here. Looks like we have ourselves a nice asteroid field. Let's pulse away from the asteroid field just a second. There we go. And we'll pull in the anomaly. And let's see what the mission has in store for us today. Boy, that uh, that asteroid field just doesn't want to go away, does it? All right. Been watching a lot of videos lately. Uh, you know, my breaks and stuff like that. Been watching Jason play a lot, uh, a lot of different uh, things lately. He's starting a new permadeath run. That's a really good idea. Ah, it's such a cool ship. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a jaunt over here and see what's up for our anomaly mission let's take a look folks we're at the nexus untamed pallets tame wild creatures again oh joy that sounds like fun let's go ahead and get that going initialize the mission and start said mission here we go so this is a little fun run here go ahead and jump in my ship when it allows me to And here we go. And of course, it's going to throw us into hyperspace and immediately get us into a place that uh, we're not familiar with. But that's okay. That's okay. I got some ideas for some upcoming videos. Uh, I will be continuing my permadeath no HUD challenge. Uh, that's been fun. Eight and a half hours in. Yay. Um, I'm also doing a normal run on 4.2. Just to restart a whole new series on that uh let's see what planet it's going to take us to uh, looks like it's taking us right down there okay fauna dense planet oh good we're on the sunny side of the planet may not stay sunny long but at least it's sunny when we land okay and we see weather videos that we're going to be coming out with probably going to be doing a oh check that out i even got myself a landing pad isn't that sweet Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'll take it. You know what we got to check while we're here? We're going to check the multi-tool station inside and see what we got. So, yeah, other videos. I think we're going to be doing something regarding permadeath again. I don't know if I'm going to do an Iron Man challenge or what have you, but, uh, oh, that is just not a great tool at all. Yeah, not worth our time. Okay. Alrighty. So, our, we got to feed 36 creatures. Oh, this ought to be fun. So, first things first, 
as you can see, I'm organizing my inventory, and I'm trying to carry everything in my inventory now, finally. I'm getting even the cobalt, the activated copper, everything. I just want to have everything in here for the most part. There's some things missing I don't really need. I do carry a couple... Uh, I'll try that again in English. I do carry a couple of walker brains just in case something needs to be repaired. Like your... Where is it here? Uh... Oh, it's not on here. It's going to be the conflict scanner on your ship, and this ship doesn't have one. But anyway, I got a whole lot of stuff saved up for doing my searches and stuff like that. So, yeah, that'll that'll come in some other episodes. We may be doing some of that, too. But anyway, we need some food for the creatures, creature pellets. Um, I thought I had some on me. I think... Uh, oh, there they are. Let's get about... I don't know. Let's go 25 just to play it safe. All right. And we want to look for creatures. Yep, got some birds. Well, flying creatures anyway. We'll go ahead and scan it while we're here. Um, yep, a lot of flying creatures. I can't feed those guys. Come on now. There's got to be some land creatures somewhere around here. Well, let's go a little further away. Maybe we're just too close to this uh, station here to find land-based creatures. What kind of planet is this, by the way? I didn't check it. Starbuck. Uh, usually mild, ordinary. It's a temperate planet, so that's good. We may not have much going on. Looks like we got some creatures over here. Let's check them out. Hey, that looks good. Now, I think we set this to a hot key last I checked. We did not. I'm going to make it key number... Let's go with three. All right, and that way we can just hit three. And if you're wondering how to do that, you do that with your left control button on your keyboard if you're playing on PC. So, wow, look at that. We got about uh, four, five, hopefully six, seven. I'm hoping we get a lot more. That just kind of hit that stalk there and ran into it. Okay. All right, not bad. Seven creatures. Now, what we could do, here's a little trick you can do here. Uh, make sure you're on your laser. Just shoot a little bit, and what should happen? Scares them a little bit, and then you go ahead and drop some more food. So we have 11 creatures so far. Let's see what happens. 12, 13, 14. Look at that. A little trick there. Drop another one there. There's too many plants in the way. They keep bouncing into the plants and bouncing away. But that is a lot easier than the last time I did this, right? Of course, watch where you step, because, of course, there's going to be a lot of, uh, after effects, let's call it. Let's see, we got three more over here. I'll go ahead and drop some food down for these guys. Hey, some more over here. Okay, how about for you? All right, so once we get the pluses going on these... All right, and then let's go ahead and... See if we get some tension away from these guys. All right. Anybody? Anybody? No? Didn't work that time. Didn't work that time. Okay. But we're up to 25. That didn't take long at all. This does seem to be a pretty dense planet when it comes to creatures. So that's a good thing. Uh, there's a few more over there. Okay. We'll just go ahead and dispense. Dispense. Oh, great. I'm like a flying food dispenser here. And they look like Pez on top of it all, so... A flying Pez dispenser? I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it here. Bunch of more creatures. That should do it. There we go. There we go. And... Yeah, that's enough. I think we just fed about 20 creatures all at the same time. There we go. Feeding complete. <laughs> Speaking of which, I gotta go make some dinner for the family. And I wonder if a little logo is going to pop up when they're all done eating that says feeding complete. That would just be awesome now, wouldn't it? 
Well, that is the end of the mission, so there's not much more to talk about, except that, yeah, I'm going to come out with a couple more videos very soon. Um, got some I'm going to do over the weekend. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have to do it. I do have other things to take care of. School is coming to a fast close for the young ones, and that means we are going to be um, doing a lot of stuff in regards to that. You know, concerts for the kids since they're in since they're in a uh, band and orchestra and stuff like that. So we're going to have some some busy weeks ahead. And we look forward to that. So here we go. Returning to the Space Anomaly. Got to be one of my shortest missions I've had in a while. We're now barely 11 minutes into this, and that was even from the startup screen. Unbelievable. Okay. And here we go. Now, I've done some adjustments to the video quality, so hopefully you're not getting as much pixelation as you did in the past. Uh, however, it makes the videos much larger and takes a little longer to upload. So, here we go. Complete the mission. So, what are we getting? We got our 1800 Quicksilver and a repair kit. Two repair kits. Three repair kits. <laughs> uh, okay, that's enough of that. So there we go. We got our 1800 Quicksilver. We got a good chunk of Quicksilver building up now. And we got some repair kits that have been added to inventory. That has most likely gone into my freighter, so you won't see it in my individual inventory. Let's go check out the Quicksilver station over here. And see what exotic items we can get. Ah, the spawning cowl. How interesting. Okay, very interesting. It'll be kind of nice to get. We are, oh, and seeing these here that I already own. Um, we're going to probably do a video in the near future that's going to involve making a new sky base. My other sky base is defunct. It is no longer functioning properly. So I'm going to make a new one, and I've got some ideas as to where I'm going to place it. So that's going to be an interesting video, and I'll show you how that works out. So... Hey, that should do it for the for you folks. If you want to ever check to see how things are going, if you go to the community, commu, uh, here we go again. Is that English language again? The community research, you'll see how well we're progressing in getting a particular item. We're at four percent right now. It will slowly build up over time as as you do more and more anomaly missions, and they are the anomaly missions that you acquire quicksilver in. So if you do especially these, you'll get more points added to that. You can do these as well, and it's nice. You'll get some nice things at Warp Hyper Cores, Upgrade Charts, and Launch Fuel. Very handy stuff, especially early game. But, not going to be doing that. Ooh, Root Out Corrupted Sentinels. That looks pretty neat. I might take a look into that. Anyway, but that is it for today, guys. Um, glad you all watched. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's that little thumbs up thing at the bottom, and if you didn't know, that's the like button. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit it. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video on my channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Really trying to rocket my way up to a thousand subscribers, and uh, we're getting there. We've only been in business here for, what, about five and a half months now? Hoping to get to a thousand very soon, hopefully this summer. Looking forward to it. And I enjoy doing the videos for you folks. Mostly No Man's Sky. You're going to see a little Minecraft and maybe other videos. I'm looking forward to a game that's coming out in August. And I'm sure you all know what that game is. And I'm looking forward to maybe doing some videos on that. We'll see what happens. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.